one I was recently asked by a Kids Money Farm visitor um, on how to make customizable money on using Microsoft Word. It seems to be one of the more common programs that are out there and someone wanted to go ahead and make their own customizable money straight from scratch. So what I'd like to do is show you a quick way where you can make your own uh, money farm money or your own type of money for anything that you would like to use for even for like uh, making Monopoly a little more fun instead of going out and buying it why not make your own so let's go ahead and start with opening up Word now I'm gonna be using version 2003 for Microsoft because uh, I don't have 2007 but also anything you can do on this one you can easily do forward uh, with any other newer products that come out later from Microsoft now first thing I like to do is once you open up your screen um, yours may not look exactly like this but I would like you to take a look at where it says view and you're gonna go to your toolbars and these are the couple of the things that you really need to make sure you have first of all um, you need to have your drawing tool checked you need to have your word art well this is optional if you want to have the word art checked and you should have your picture toolbar checked so you'll have basically the picture here you'll also have your toolbars up here and this one we can actually move over so you'll need these are the main tools that you want to be able to see um, the other thing is the rule bars here make things a little easier so if you want that just go ahead and click on view and go to ruler and if you notice it'll show up there um, another thing is you do need to be in the print layout mode in order to have this uh, start showing up if you're zoomed in too far where you don't get to see your whole paper it's usually easier to work when you have your whole paper on your screen um, you can go ahead and click on zoom and zoom to whatever you want to have it show up on your screen together here okay now what I want to do is go ahead and double click on this area you can also oh let's go ahead let's do it this way go to the paid setup and what you're gonna do is I want you to first switch these margins over to half an inch because most printers will be able to work with a half an inch screen half inch margins all in these four around here and then you want to switch over to landscape bills are easily made when they're wider so this is what your screen should look like a shortcut to get to that also is just to come to the rule bar here double click it opens up the paid setup so you get a quick lesson on uh, using Microsoft Word as well now next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create your bill template so let's go ahead and click on the rectangle in, the, in your drawing and you should see a screen that comes like this now draw here let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and draw a bill now one of the reasons why I wanted you to you see right above the cursor up here it says five you are now drawing on a 10 inch platform so you want to go ahead and this will help you know where the halfway mark is because uh, then you can double up your bills left and right now once you let go you can eyeball it really uh, your drawing pad area I'd like you to st stretch that down you just simply click on here drag it down it'll draw your drawing pad area here okay now you have your dollar bill border let's go ahead and let's fill it in the dollar bill should be green so let's go ahead and just use lime now to make sure that this is what fills in you have to make sure that you have it selected otherwise what will happen is it'll actually go to the outside for instance if you don't have it selected and you select fill it'll do the outside but simply doing control Z or your undo select it here first click on fill color and it'll fill it in there now the next thing you want to do is let's go ahead and get our center of the let's say I call it I guess the the bill picture and we'll go ahead and draw in a circle so let's put an oval and we're gonna go ahead and make a circle here okay so the next thing you want to do is with this selected you want to click on the fill again but we're gonna go down to the fill effects okay now this is a very hidden tool that a lot of people don't realize exists you can actually go to picture and let's go ahead and select a picture which I already have one on the desktop ready to go and this is called kids pick and we have three 
kids here. Hit OK. And we have all three of the kids put into there. Now what we want to do is you can use this as it is already. Um, your other option would be actually to crop in advance the picture that you want. So for instance, let's go back to opening up the kids picture. We can go ahead and if we open up this kids picture here, it will launch for us. And what we want to do is we want to then edit and then we're going to crop this picture just so that we have well, let's put the baby. So we're going to crop it so we have only the baby. And then we hit OK. And then we're going to do File, Save As Kids, and then Baby. Save. And then we're going to close. And we don't want to save this because it'll make the original that. So don't save. We already have the, the new one brought in. So this is where the new one comes in. Now we can go back to our, our document. And let's go ahead and just do the baby now. So this is one thing you want to do next. Let's go ahead and add our circle again. Uh, we'll make it about the right size so we know. Yeah, that's good there. And we're going to do our fill. And because the circle is highlighted, it knows that's where we want to go. Let's select the picture now. And we have now the baby put there. And then we hit OK. And now the baby's imported into the middle there. So that's a cool trick you can do. Now if you have a classroom, it'll be, you know, you can go ahead and put your, your own kids into it from your classroom. And you can adjust it perfectly there. Next thing you want to do is we're going to start adding the outside areas here. So let's go to the 